Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today uh, we will be speaking regarding power, how to generate as much power as possible as a free-to-play player because as you already know I am a 100% free-to-play player and somehow I managed to get to 90 million power and I kind of understand uh, which kind of upgrades will generate as much power as possible at certain moment. Well, in general, there is like a couple of ways to generate power in the game. Uh, first of all, there is like research power, like tech power, uh, then is legion power, it determines like which kind of uh, units you have, T1, T2, Tier 5, and so on. Hero power is all about hero levels, uh, talents, um, equipment, and so everything that is mentioned regarding heroes, this is the hero power level. And also there is a building power. Uh, this is all about your buildings and how much power they give you. So here you can check which kind of uh, road you want to take and which kind of road will give you the maximum amount of uh, power in the game. Currently, uh, for you to understand about my 90 million power, uh, I have been playing this game 192 days straight, I mean a season 2. So, in general, uh, if you will look at the uh, building power, well, you can see I managed to level up my buildings, like some of them are 23, some of them are 21, so like minimum 20, right? I also have like my herbalist hubs uh, on, in, on almost everyone on 24, and the last one is 23. Uh, also, here is my legion uh, amount, like how many legion units I have in general, and this is how I got to the 90 million. With my own experience, I think uh, like there is a couple of ways to get more power than in general. Like, for example, every building does not give you the same amount of power in the game. For example, resource buildings, they generally don't give you enough power, like... Uh, 30,000 is like nothing, uh, like in general if you will just look on every resource building they are fine, I won't gonna say don't upgrade them, but uh, if we look only in terms of power this would be the weakest way of uh, generating some power for you. But, in my opinion, they are very useful. They, like, every day if you are playing the game, you are getting a lot of resources for yourself. Uh, but, uh, as I said, every resource uh, building is giving you less power, but there is one resource building, which is Mana Refinery, which is giving you much better power than any other resource uh, building. Like, uh, it, we can't even compare. Uh, this is a good way of generating power if we will look at the resource buildings. Uh, regarding buildings, in my opinion, if we won't gonna mention the Sacred Hall, like, Sacred Hall is like quest um, uh, upgradable building, you are just moving with the quest, and of course Sacred Hall will give, give you a lot of uh, power. That's normal, that's, that's why I did not mention Sacred Hall at the first time. The second the most uh, generous building type to give you power besides Sacred Hall is like hospitals because trust me, like they are giving you a lot of power. Like even you can see on any, any building how much power they are giving and uh, hospitals in general, this game, uh, it's like great uh, thing to have, of course, because of your legions, but regarding power, they are amazing. So if your goal is to have as much power as possible in order for you to apply in the best possible alliance, uh, you need to... Uh, learn and think which kind of buildings you need to upgrade in order to get the uh, most power in the game. Uh, regarding like uh, enemy, like uh, legion unit uh, uh, recruitment buildings, they are giving a nice amount of power but nothing compares to hospitals. So, as you can see, yes, we already know that for the quest for the Sacred Hall, you need to have like one level higher hospital to have a chance to upgrade the Sacred Hall, but 
you can look here is four hospitals and every each of them is 24 and they are giving me a lot of power right now this one is 23 level if i want to upgrade it i'm gonna get like this amount of power like in two days and of course like buildings uh, time range for a building is way less than research regarding research in my opinion like not every research uh, gives you a lot of power of course the upgrading of your units regarding uh, like uh, stats like t2 t3 t4 always gonna give you like a lot of power but there is a lot more things which we're gonna give you even more power than just upgrading your legions in my opinion like highest way uh, how highest power uh, generator here is like assault strategies when you're gonna go to the eight here you can see how much power it gives defensive formation gives you a lot of power first eye gives you a lot of power too uh, and uh, from the purple side like in my opinion at first it might look like looks that it's gonna give you less power but from here everything is giving you a lot of power regarding like economy tree um, with my experience architecture gave me a good amount of power like you can see here uh, supply chains are giving you uh, power if we were gonna compare the economy tree it's fine and of course scholarship regarding power is great uh, after like i'm not gonna upgrade these ones because uh, like i prefer to uh, gather than uh, be on a production side that's why i stopped here so like in economy tree architecture is giving you fine like gathering uh, research container upgrades 300 that's totally fine and of course scholarship too so like in general regarding research like later you go to in the game uh, and more you play more these research uh, items will give you the power like as you can see like here it's gonna it just gave me 30 to 100 2000 it's like nothing right but as i move forward uh, there is a lot more power but as a free-to-play player it's hard to generate more more and more power through research tab because every research costs a lot of days like for example if i want to get a salt strategy to nine i need to wait more 37 days so that's a lot of time now regarding heroes right like pretty obvious like even stars are giving you power level upping is giving you power like if you unlock more levels on your skills they are giving you power but there is one trick like even on the heroes which you don't have uh, artifact if you're gonna just simply uh, like attach any artifact they will get power too see 3800 so if you are all about generating power like you can equip every single uh, hero with the artifact and you're gonna get uh, more power for yourself so like anything regarding like artifacts regarding hero skill xp like stars levels anything will generate more power and you can think you have more heroes more talent skills more artifacts more warpets more skills more levels more stars uh, is all about getting more power so we already discuss uh, the building power right uh, wait where is uh, it was here right no um, yeah we spoke regarding building power uh, we spoke regarding research power we spoke regarding heroes power right and there is one more thing how you can generate more and more power is all about your legions uh, like more you play this game you understand that every building upgrade and every research takes more and more days and your best way to generate power is upgrade like is recruiting your legion like 24 7 every time like all the time this should be running like every single uh, army recruitment should be running try to make it as consistent as possible because like uh, for a t4 and I'm, I'm recruiting 1300 units for every unit i think per day i'm getting uh, 47,000 power just from the legion uh, recruitment so uh, doesn't matter if you choose to play with marksmen or mages or infantry or anything else uh, try to recruit every single legion type in the game because more army is equal to more power and more army is equal to more firepower for yourself and for your alliance 
this is my opinion how to generate uh, more and more power in this game as a free-to-play player. Um, hope you liked this video, guys. And, of course, I will continue with more ideas and more guides for you. Bye-bye.